Welcome back to the Can-Am Garage Guys. In this episode, I'm going to show you, it's going to be a quick update of what has been accomplished lately on the 1969 Dodge Coronet Super B A12 car. It body has received several more coats of color. It's been two, three, I'm thinking, I think I'm at the third, maybe ready for the fourth coat. There should, if there's any luck, there will be one more coat of color, followed by several coats of clear, and then things will get real interesting. The interior has had the had what <laughs> what uh, bright work there is in this very basic interior detailed as I can as you can see I probably need to go back and just touch up on the details a little bit you also notice that the floor area is um, gray grayish black blackish gray that's because the cars had a rubber mat on the floor there's no carpet on this car and there won't be the hood has been prepped for the photo etch kit. Uh, yeah, okay, it got, it got uh, a coat of color a while back. Not a thorough coat of color, but enough that it made it easier for me to see what I was doing with filling the seams here, 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 and made it easier to see the sand, sand let's say half, three quarters of the parts, the, the molded on hood pins off. Oh, as you can see by looking in here, basically we all the parts have had some color. Not all, completely. Not all completely done. I'm still working on the, on the dash, the interior, and everything. But it's considering the age of the kit, I like how they did the interior. Uh, the engine. The engine I've decided, as you can see, it is a manual car, which is good. And uh, that is Tamiya Dark iron versus hemi orange versus uh tammy gloss aluminum all of which was the gloss aluminum the hemi orange were both airbrushed on everything else is brush painted and i've decided that this kit even though i had planned to wire the engine because of the design the very, rather basic look of the exhaust manifolds i really don't want to try working with wiring around this so instead of wiring that car we will we will wire the engine that's going into the 70 Roadrunner instead. Like I said, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'll show you exactly how it goes. I've also been working on detailing the chassis, but eh, it's not quite ready for prime time yet. Okay, so I guess that's about it for the quick little update on this car. We're also going to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.